Hey there, I'm Greg Finn from the Marketing O'Clock Podcast, and today I want to talk to you about something I don't hear a ton of people talking about, but you should know about, and it's Microsoft Advertising's Cost Per Sale Campaign Types, or CPS. And CPS is a newer type of campaign that allows you not to bid the target ROAS, not to bid for maximizing conversions, not to bid for CPC, but instead to only pay when a sale has been made, aka cost per sale. That's what it stands for. Before we get started with this, I just want to let you know, cost per sale is not for everyone. If your inventory has a wide range of product pricing, let's say you've got socks or sundries for $10 and high-end boots, for $300, there's a big discrepancy there and CPS might not be for you. But if you can quantify and qualify the average order value from your customers, Microsoft CPS could work for you. So the way it works is that you get to input what you are willing to pay per sale. And if a sale is made from a click generated by a Microsoft ad, you will pay up to that amount. Not always that amount, up to that amount. And shockingly, I've seen our CPS come in lower than our bid on average. It doesn't mean that you're gonna see those results, but it could happen. So again, this is great for any e-commerce person, especially if you limit the products so that they're in a very tight cost range for uh, each one of those products, so they're very like-minded. and. If you just know your, your customer AOV in general and it's like clockwork, it also could work for you. So let's take a look at how to set up a Microsoft CPS campaign right now. Okay, so hop into your campaign section here and hit that big old create button, the big blue button with a plus sign. What do we wanna do? This is only for sales. So we want to sell products is the big change here. Um, again, CPS doesn't work for just conversions or any type of CPC. It is a sale-driven uh, campaign type. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to choose standard shopping here. Um, one note, if you choose with the audience network, you cannot get CPS. So when you see the standard shopping bubble come up here, uh, you want to hit search if your goal is to get to some sort of uh, cost per sale campaign. So I'm gonna choose search and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to continue through. And then we get to our shopping campaign. And I'm just gonna label this all products dash CPS. Again, you can be more descriptive or less. And when we get to the budget, the budget's important. We wanna know in general how much the average order value is for a client, or if there's different segmentations that we can have with it. Is there some way that we can segment those products off so that we can be really successful with our CPS campaigns? So maybe it's sneakers and our average sneaker sale is on the $90 range. We might be willing to pay $30 for a sale. Something like socks, where it's on the $9 range, maybe we're willing to pay $3. But you really need to think through that because if you don't put those guidelines in place, Many times the networks always go towards the lowest common denominator, which is whatever's easiest to sell. So we're going through here with all of our products. And from a budget standpoint, once you come up with that number that the uh, sale is worth to us. So again, in, let's say that example is our shoes sell for $90 and we're willing to pay $30 for a sale. Um, our CPS target is going to be $30. So our budget should be at least two to three X of what we're willing to pay per sale so that it can be healthy and running. So in this case, I'm not going to say it's $30. I'll say we want to be three X budget of what we're willing to pay. And our budget's going to be $90 for this campaign. And then when you get to the bid strategy, this is where you want to go down and drop down to see cost per sale, automated bidding, set my bids to get the target cost per sale. I'm going to click on that and put in the $30 price point that we're willing to pay. This one's in Canadian, but that's fine. And then you can set it to um, have a start date and end date. And 
I need to reiterate that the beauty of this campaign type is that you can get impressions, you can get clicks, and you do not pay until the sale is made. So when you do that targeting and you look at audiences and, and any different way you're trying to minimize waste, you don't really need to. That's the beauty of this. You're only charged per sale. You're not charged per click impression, any of that. And it kind of makes your brain a little bit scrambled thinking about it. But don't put too many limitations in um, when you go and set these up. I think in this case, the less limitations you have, the better. So then you can just keep going on, go to your advanced campaign settings. You can set your ad schedule, your day parting, whatever you need to do here. Um, and then you can also go through and filter those products like I talked about. So if there's something that you want to make sure only shows for one CPS campaign, if you want to set a whole bunch of them up, you could do that. But that is basically it. Everything else is just normal campaign targeting that you have. A few other points on this. From what we've seen so far here in February 2024, it's still pretty buggy from a product standpoint. So if you don't see success or you see success, then it drops off. What we're seeing is just restarting, resetting, having a new campaign that CPS can work. Um, sometimes when it just that doesn't work for a while, it just kind of seems like it gives up. That may change. That might not be the case in March. But for now, if you see stagnation or something like that, just reset it and start a new campaign and you know turn the old one off. But I personally just enjoy seeing impressions and clicks coming through and that cost being zero. So if you sell things online, I would really think through the strategy of it. If you need any help, you can give us a call at Cypress North. We'll definitely help you out. And hopefully this helps. If you enjoy this content, you will enjoy our weekly digital marketing news shows. It's a podcast every Friday. We talk about everything you need to know. CPS won't slip by you next time if you listen to us. Tune in at your favorite podcast player or right here on YouTube, Marketing O'Clock dot com or youtube.marketingclock.com and we are on spotify as well so if this was helpful to you i sincerely appreciate you reaching out to us for help if you need it or just subscribing thank you so much